and welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic. And today um, is Pi Day, so a very happy Pi Day to you. If uh, you are interested in that, it is called Pi Day because the American way of writing the date is 314. See up here, 314, and that is the beginning of the irrational constant pi, 3.14. Now, Simon has already done a puzzle that I think is in some ways the most astonishing Sudoku I've ever seen. Um, this one's not far behind though. Now, Simon's puzzle is a classic which uses the first x digits of pi, I'm going to say, in a symmetrical arrangement in the grid and produces a perfect and perfectly difficult classic Sudoku. So do have a look at that if you haven't already. But this almost does the same thing. This is an X sum Sudoku. And if you look at the digits around the grid, it's incredible. 3.14159265358979. And those are that is pi to 15 significant digits, which I'm glad I didn't have to remember because they're actually written here. And it's in a sort of circle using the X sum clues and then the four givens. And apparently this makes a solvable X sum Sudoku. Now the rules of X sum Sudoku, I'll get to them in a minute. I do want to, first of all, uh, entries to the seven wonders of the world Sudoku hunt have been flooding in today. And over the last 24 hours, we have this astonishing number of correct successful solvers. So very well done if your name is on this list. Uh, the hunt was not all that easy, but we're absolutely thrilled to see people, so many people still working their way through it. Um, interestingly, the last day has brought almost no, correct no incorrect answers, unless I just haven't spotted those for some reason, but loads of correct. So very well done to everybody on the list. Thank you for your comments about the puzzles, which were uniformly positive. Um, if you haven't joined Patreon, you haven't tried that hunt, get on with it. It's really worth doing. Everybody is enjoying it. So give it a go. Now, also today on Patreon, we have released the video to Scott Strosal's um, Tracking the Triptych Hunt. And this is Scott himself talking through the way to solve that hunt. It's a really interesting video. Um, if you struggled with the hunt, if you finished it and you're not sure if you did it the right way, that video is going to be well worth a look. Um, again, that is for our, our Patreons, um, and please have a look at it if, you, if you're able to. Really interesting stuff. Uh, there's also our apps, of course, on the link under the video. Now, this X sums comes from Jonas Gleim, brilliant German constructor, who's been in Sudoku since the very start. And he's sent us a number of wonderful puzzles over time, including, we hope, this one. And as I say, it's wonderful already just because it has these digits. Um, to use this, the, uh, the numbers of pi, pi is very friendly to Sudoku in that it doesn't have a zero in the first 15 or 20 digits. So that doesn't have to get in the way, although you could actually potentially still accommodate a zero in some ways in a format like this. But anyway, the rules are, normal Sudoku rules apply. The numbers outside the grid, they sum the first X digits in that row or column, looking from that direction, where X is the first digit seen. So look at this 35. That means that 35 will be the sum of um, either the first five, six, or seven digits, because I think that's what it has to be. And if it's the sum of the first five digits, this first digit will be five. If it's the sum of the first six, this digit will be six. If it's the sum of the first seven, this digit will be seven. So that's what's going on in an X sums. It's quite a simple rule set once you get used to it. Um, I do like them, so I'm looking forward to this. And can't wait to get finished with it as well because I'm going to be celebrating with a pie and well you might call that a tart but I wouldn't be so rude especially today. Um, do have a look at the puzzle it's on the link below the video if you want to try it and I'm going to try now let's get cracking and we can start with this three like straight away I mean I'll, let me just explain this can't have a one to start with because that would mean it would be adding the first one digit which would be one that's not the answer we get. 
Um, it can be a two. It couldn't be anything as big as a three or more because then it would be adding three digits. They'd all have to be different. There's no way that's going to add up to three. So it is a two. And because it's adding the first two digits and they add up to three, we know the next one's a one. We can actually do the same for this five. We know it must start with a two to keep the digits down. We know it's not a one because the clue isn't one. And we can fill in a three there because those two digits add up to five. Uh, yeah, that makes this eight. Well, we can do the first digit of it because we've got a two in the column, so it can't be a two. So now it's got to be a three. The next two have to add up to five, so now they've got to be one and four. Now I did work, I'm, it's worth filling in these uh, root points of the x sums. That, as, as I said, has to be five, six, or seven. Now the reason I know that fairly quickly is I know the most five digits can add up to is 35. Uh, and I know this, there is a secret that the numbers one to nine add up to 45. And if you deduct 35 from that, it's 10. So the numbers in this that aren't in the 35 sum add up to 10. And you could work it that that has to be at least two digits or at most four. So whatever remains is the length of the x sum. Now here in the 26, it could be a four or a five or a six. It can't be a seven because the remaining sum has to add up to 19. Actually, now that we've got a one there, that means it can't be a six either. So that's a five or a four. Ah, this nine, we can fill in the three. Four is too many because that has to be four, three, two, one at a minimum, which adds up to 10. To add up to nine, we need another a one and five or two and four. Ooh, yeah, I can't work that out. Oh, right, this 14 and 15, yeah, they're going to have to be four and five, and the 14 can't be five because the least that five digits can add up to is 15. So the five has a one, two, three, four following it in some order. That can't be one or four. That can't be three or four. That can't be two or three. I can't rule that one out. This one, um, what are the possibilities? They are four plus one, two, seven, one, three, six, or two, three, five. Ah, two, three, five doesn't work for quite an entertaining reason. You'd have to put a five here because there's a five in box two already, then these two would both have to be two and three, and that's not going to allow that cell to be completed. So there must be a one in this. What did I say? Either one, two, seven, or one, three, six. Okay, that's quite interesting. That means that the one is going to have to be One, two, seven, or one, three, six. So there is a seven or six, and that's got to be in box two, because otherwise you're going to get too many of ones, twos, and threes to fill four cells. So six or seven is in here, but there's also a two or a three to go. This this cell can only be one, because if the six or seven is in there, this can't be the two or three. That's lovely. So that's the one. Let's take the pencil mark out of that. This could be a two as well. It, yeah. Okay, that one has made this into the four. This now is one of two or three. We've got a pair in the column. That makes this the one. Uh, I don't see how to use those yet. Right, let's have a look at this 26 clue. Can that be five? Oh, can it be four? I bet it can't now. No, there's no way. The, the maximum these three can add up to, if that's a four, is 12. And you, another big secret, you can't put 14 in the single cell of a Sudoku. So that's a five now, and that's not, which means that's not a one. Now they're a two, four pair. Um, these five do have to add up to 26. The least these can be is two and three. 
which you could make up with a 9-7 pair. The most they can be is 3-4, I suppose. Then you'd have to have a 6-8 pair. So there are ways to do that. Yeah, and in fact, I can't rule any of those digits out of these cells, I don't think. No. Oh, this can't be five now. Right, so we're looking at either six cells with those adding up to 10 or seven cells with those adding up to 10. Hmm, don't know how to... Don't know how to do that. We've got six, seven, eight, nine to go in at the bottom of this column. We've actually used an awful lot of these clues already. And it's very hard to imagine that this puzzle has a unique solution at this point. It's odd. I don't, I almost don't see how we can possibly get it finished. Okay, that's for the future. Let's just carry on. Two is in one of those. Ah, two, four pair has fixed that as a one. Um, right, four now in the final column has to be there. What else can we get? I am worried that I'm just not doing enough with this five clue. We've got a virtual two, three pair there because whichever one isn't in that pair is in that cell. So these are from six, seven, eight or nine here. Uh, that oh these two can't be nines that one can't be a seven um, this can't be a seven either because there must be a seven up here three two four one one has to be in one of these two cells yes so the only one in column nine that the only possible cell for a one is there I'm actually getting quite a lot of ones placed. Could that be one nine? Yes, I don't see why not. Um, six, seven, and eight still to go in in column nine. Oh, and surely, do we, we don't know. If that was a six, these three have to add up to 10. They've got a four in though, because of the position of fours there. So they'd have to be four, one, five. If this was a six, they would be four, one, five. Oh, that's beautiful. Where would two and three go in the row? Well, they'd have to go in these cells and that's impossible because they'd clash with that. Yeah, this is right. Because of those positions of fours, there is a four somewhere here. The only way to make those three add up to 10 to allow that to be 6 is 4, 1, 5. And then we die with two threes in box 5. So that is not a 6. That's a 7. That's so clever. And yet this is almost a found Sudoku. I mean, it's just amazing. I mean, it just shows how much it's not a found Sudoku, how much um, Jonas has worked on this very cleverly to make this possible. Wow, I mean, that's brilliant. Um, now, three of these are six, seven, eight, and nine. And they're not, whichever those three are, they're not in these cells. One is here, the other two are over here. So those two have to be from six, seven, eight, nine as well. So five must be in this row. That's not very helpful. I'm not even going to pencil mark it. Um, right, now we know these two add up to 10. Do they have to be 4 and 6, which seems likely? They can't be 7 and 3. Oh, I don't know. I don't think they do have to be 4 and 6. That would leave 8 and 9 there. 5, 1. Wow, it would fill a lot of it in. You could fill the whole row apart from an 8 9 pair if they were 4, 6. Can't be three seven. Could they be one nine? That would make that. Ah, oh, no, they can't be one nine, because then you couldn't put two digits in these cells. Six and eight would go there. Five could go in those cells, but no other digit. So it's not a one nine pair. It is either two eight or four six. And if it's two eight, do you have the same problem again? Two eight six nine seven. 
No, then you have 5 and 1 here. And if it's 4, 6, 8, 9, again you have 5, 1 here. So we can fill in the 5, 1. That's peculiar. I don't even understand how that's worked, but it has. Right, that gives us a 2, 5 pair down there. Uh, those are from 6, 7, and 8, although that one's not a 7. So in fact, 7 is fixed in the box. 6, 8, and 9 have to go in this central box. Sorry, in box 6, that's not the central box. Um, oh, 1 and 4 have to be in those two cells. Ah, and either 2, lovely, either 2 or 3 is in those two, and the only place that can go in box 8 now is there, so it can't be 3. So that's a 2. This is a 2-7 pair. I'm sure, yeah, that makes up the 14 sum. So this is a 3. That's a 2. We're away now, surely. Does that mean... No, it doesn't mean... Yes, it does. Look, there's a 2 there, so that can't be 2. There has to be a 2 over here somewhere. So that is a 2-8 pair. 4 is there. Let's get rid of the corner marked 4. Those are now a 6-9 pair. Um... This, oh, two seven pair looking at that cell, so that's eight. These don't have a seven in. Six, eight, nine, one, two, four, seven, three, five. That's a naked single. In fact, it's the last uh, cell in its row. Five, seven pair there. That eight is looking at those cells. It's filling itself in there. Now I am beginning to believe this puzzle will finish unambiguously. Lovely. I mean, it's so clever and to think that this is done with the digits of pi. Okay, I was going to fill in 6 or 5 here. Actually, I still am. That's not a triple yet. Definitely includes 8 and 7. Right, 1, 4, 3. Which clue? This clue. This is the only clue I haven't finished with, I think. Um... 5, 8, that could be a 2, and then we have 9, 7. But it could also be a 4, and then we have a 6, 8 pair. So I still don't know which way that works. That's strange. There's probably some way of doing this. 5 must be in one of those cells. 2, 8, 4. Um, ah, I'm missing something here, sorry. 9... No, it has to be in one of those. I don't know which one. Ah, seven and seven, so I can place the seven. That's there. These are from five, six, and eight. I don't know which way. Four, two, seven, one, eight. Five, three, six there. No, oh, three, five, six, nine there. So that's not getting resolved. Wow, still going to have to do something else here. I don't know what's going on anymore. Um, that is a six, seven, or eight. One, three, five, two, nine. I don't know. Right, let's just take a step back. I'm probably missing something. Yes, I am. That eight is looking at that cell. So six there, eight there. Um, that 6 sorts out the 9, 6 pair. Now, 6 can't be there. 6 must be here, here. 6. That's not 6. Haven't resolved those quite yet. That is now an 8. Um, one of those is an 8. I knew that before. 6 or 9. Can't quite see how to do that yet. These are from 5, 6, 7, and 9. That can't be 9. That can't be 7. These are from 1, 3, 5, and 7. That can't be 3. That can't be 7. That can't be 1. I don't see how this is helping yet. 1, 6. No. Oh, that can't be 6 anymore. But that still can be. So we're just not done there. I'm missing something here. I know you've seen it ahead of me. And well done to you. Um, 9, 6, 8, 7, 2, 1 or 4. That is 3 or 5 by Sudoku. 
So that gives us a pair. So that fixes that as a two. This is a five. That can't be five. This is one or four. It hasn't done it all. Two's in one of those cells. Seven, five, eight, two, one, four. That's three, six, or nine, which gives us a triple. Gosh, this is weird. Those are one, two, or four. Let's take out the two mark again. Now, what's going on? Maybe columns one and two will give us something. Oh, look, that one, two, three triple in the first box. So those can't be one, two, and three. Where can one, two, and three go in the column? They have to go in that run of cells. That is brilliant. So that's a two. Uh, no, I can't take four out of there. I'm taking two out of there. Oh, let me just go back to what? Yeah, that has to be a one if this is a one, two, three, triple. That's the three. There we go. So there's a five, seven pair. This is one. Um, three, no, three, two, one. That one has fixed the four, one pair. This is a two. This is an eight. Um, that's not an eight. Three, one, eight, two, nine. That's now a four. Five, that can't be a five. The five in the column has to be here. That makes this a seven. Sorts out the five, seven pair in the central box. That's not a five. That's a six, nine pair still to be resolved somehow. Ah, and remember this 26 clue. Surely I can do that now. Five and three is eight. Or maybe I can't. Four, six, eight or nine there just by Sudoku. Can I do this yet? Uh, maybe I know whether that can be a two. If that was a four, 12, that would be eight, six, six, eight, three, four, five. Then you could go two, one, nine, seven. Now the alternative is th nine, three, two, seven, five. And that's not possible because that has no possible identity. So that's a four. That's a two. This is a part of a six eight pair. That's the eight. That's the six. What a brilliant puzzle. I have really enjoyed this. I do think I'm finishing now. Thank goodness. That must be where two goes in the row, making this one a nine. That's sorting out a lot of the rest of this grid. Two and nine seven four. That's not a six. Hasn't been for a while. Five, four, and eight. That's an eight. Four and five there, this is seven. That nine, eight pair has been resolved. Nine and seven. Uh, this must be finished, that's a five, giving us a six there. And we're finishing off boxes five, box eight, and box seven to complete a wonderful second puzzle on Pi Day. Thank you very much for following those along with us and Congratulations to both setters, Philip Newman and Jonas Gleim, for really incredible constructions based on that famous irrational number pi. Hope to see you again soon on Cracking the Cryptic, and bye for now.